साइराम स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू वंस अगेन टू द सेकेंड सेशन ऑफ लेसन नंबर सिक्सटीन वॉटर सो लेट्स रिकॉल वंस अगेन वॉट एवर वी हैव लर्न इन द लास्ट सेशन सो स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू रिमेंबर इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी स्पोक अबाउट द थ्री डिफरेंट स्टेट्स ऑफ द वॉटर सो देर आर बेसिकली सॉलिड देन गैशियस एंड देन लिक्विड दीज आर द थ्री स्टेट्स ऑफ द वॉटर विच एग्जिस्ट इन द नेचर and all these three states of the water we must have seen around us and even the most importantly this water it is important for living purpose so water is essential component of all the living organism without water the survival is very difficult so we have seen that whenever we mix up a spoon of sugar or spoon of salt into the water the water appears completely clean as sugar and salts they are completely soluble in the water and at the same time when we mix up the salt dust and the soil into a glass of water it looks muddy so that means we can say that sugar and salt they are soluble in water whereas soil and the salt dust they are insoluble in water so these are the property of the substances so few substances they gets completely dissolved into the water and few substances they are partially dissolved in the substances that means we can call them as a insoluble so whenever the soluble and insoluble component they mix into the water it creates a pollution so the pollution of the water it is caused by many of the factor so most of the time the residential water waste the factory water waste everything gets mixed into the water and then it causes a water pollution so what is the basic meaning of the water pollution so as you can see that over here whenever the other substances get, they get mixed into the water the water becomes impure so this impurity sometimes they might float onto the top of the water and many of the time this impurity gets settled down at the bottom so that's why the water looks unclean and muddy so such unclean and muddy water we cannot consume so if we want to consume the water we have to boil it or either we have to filter it to make it clean for the consumption so students one more thing over here we have again seen that whatever the water is collected from the residential waste and the uh, factory waste they are released into the water bodies like river and sea etc so even over the sewage water it is collected from the residential area and the factory and they are released to the water body but as you know that this sewage weight contains soluble and insoluble particle and the soluble things which are present into this sewage water they have the microorganism and these microorganism they are able to cause the disease so that's why the water which is present in the sewage which has a lot of poisonous substances so that's why whenever we release such water into the water bodies the sewage water it has to be treated very well and do you know that students one more fact over here the water pollution causes a lot of damage to the aquatic organism which are present in the water like you all know that in water a living organism are present in the form of animals as well as in the plants right so whenever a large quantity of impurity gets mixed with the river water the natural process of purification cannot keep the pace that means what whenever impurity gets mixed into the water the water becomes that much impure even by the natural process the water is not able to get purified and therefore here you can see that the proportion of oxygen the proportion of oxygen which is dissolved into the water it gets reduced and when the oxygen level goes down into the water this causes threat to the aquatic living thing what do you mean by threat it is harmful so because as we have already learned that respiration is one of the important process and for the process of respiration oxygen is very important but when water pollution occurs a lot of impurity gets mixed into the water and because of the impurity which are present in the water the level of oxygen goes down so whenever the level of oxygen goes down 
the living organism which are present into the water they are not able to breathe properly and therefore they might get dead as well so here you can see that this water pollution it causes harmful threat to the aquatic living thing so that's why students always remember that we have to purify the water before releasing into the water bodies is that clear and at our home level also at our personal level also we have to see that we will create less pollution is that clear so that later on there won't be any type of the threat to the all the living organism which are present in the environment so now we want to purify the water so for the purification of the water at our personal level uh, at right now home there must be filter available right but again at the personal level this is the experiment which we have already seen in the last month right the water purification experiment but uh, let's see once again let's recall once again how we have done this purification of the water so you all are well aware about this process of water purification am i right so here you can see that the water bottle has been taken it has been cut into half part and again on the top we have put coarse sand fine sand powder coal again at the mouth of the water bottle we have put the cotton cloth and this inverted water bottle we have kept into the container and then on the top we have poured the impure water here okay and at the base as you can see that a clear and transparent water is there so basically the coal which is present at the bottom of the water bottle it is cleaning the water so coal is responsible for cleaning the water it absorbs the impurities which are present in the water is that clear so we will see once again what is the process of this purification of the water you have seen that but again let's see here one by one so for this experiment what you will have to do we'll have to take a plastic bottle okay and then tie the clean piece of the cloth over its mouth okay so that means what which type of cloth cotton cloth you want to use synthetic cloth or silk cloth etc because they won't pass on the water we have to strictly here use a cotton cloth okay and then cut off the base of the bottle you have to cut off the base of the bottle only you have to keep the that part of the bottle which is having the mouth part okay then hold the bottle upside and down you have to invert the bottle like this okay then pour some powder cold into it so at the bottle you have to pour some powder cold okay then what you will do you have to add fine sand and lastly coarse sand to make the three different layer inside the bottle which we have already shown you in the picture okay so like here in this you can see that over here at the bottom coal is there here fine sand is there and on top of that coarse sand is there so there should be clearly three different layer visible into the water bottle okay then place the bottle on its lower cut off portion as shown in the figure now pour some muddy water containing some rubbish slowly into this bottle so as you can see that over here in this diagram we have inverted the bottle we have poured the rubbish water here and here you can see that the water is getting filtered and water is slowly dripping down step by step okay so after observation we saw that the water that flows into the base of the bottle okay so the water which is present at the base it appears to be clean see there is difference between the water which appears clean and there is difference between there is no microorganism although here at base the microorganism might be present although it appears clean although this water appears clean but there could be microorganism in this base of the water this microorganism will be dead only after boiling it is that clear so whatever water you see it is clean that doesn't mean that it is safe for the consumption you have to clean it properly you have to boil it then only we can say that the water is safe for consumption otherwise we can't say that the water is safe for the consumption so if you want the safe consumption of the water then you have to boil it properly and then you have to avoid the drinking of water which is stored for the longer time so most of the time what we do while traveling we often buy bottle drinking water am i right 
सो द बॉटल्स आर अवेलेबल एट द प्लेसेस लाइक बस स्टैंड एंड द रेलवे स्टेशन एक्सेट्रा रीड द इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द वॉटर गिवन ऑन दी बॉटल एंड टेल अदर्स अबाउट इट टू सी ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दैट वेन एवर यू बाय एनी थिंग एनी वॉटर बॉटल एनी टाइप ऑफ द फूड स्टफ आई टोल्ड यू दैट इन द प्रीवियस सेशन ऑल्सो वी हैव टू चेक फॉर द एक्सपायरी डेट वेन एवर यू इवन बाय द वॉटर बॉटल फॉर ड्रिंकिंग चेक द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग डेट ऑन द वॉटर बॉटल एंड इवन सी दैट द द कैप ऑफ द बॉटल इट इज टाइटली पैक्ड इफ द कैप ऑफ द बॉटल इफ इट इज लूज वाइल बाइंग देन प्लीज डोंट बाय दैट वॉटर बॉटल you will see to that the water bottle is completely sealed the sealed one you will buy and even after buying you have to check the information which is given on the back side of the bottle and you one you will check the manufacturing date if the date is recent manufacturing date is then then it is safe for the consumption if uh, if expire date has been gone then you won't buy it otherwise in that water microorganisms might be present which might cause disease to us so the date of the bottling the period for which the water can be safely used is printed on the water bottle so whatever things you will buy for the market check the manufacturing date and the safety of the product it is important to read this information whenever you buy the bottle once you have opened it the water should not be kept for a very long so if you open the water bottle then complete that water within 24 hours don't keep it for one month one week etc because once you open the seal of that bottle then there are the chances that germs might go and that water is not safe for drinking and most importantly the empty bottle must be crushed and then it is thrown into the garbage bin so that it cannot be reused so you have to crush the water bottle and then you have to throw it into the dustbin if you don't crush it and if you throw it like that only so there are many people who will pick up that water bottle they will refill the bottle again and they will resell it which is completely wrong see plastic reuse should be there but it is only at the industrial level not at the home level otherwise many people will suffer from the lot of diseases is that clear so i hope so students whatever we have learned today you must have understood that so what we have learned today we have learned that how exactly the water is purified by the simple method so this is the experiment of water purification which we have already done you have to use the water bottle then you have to use the cotton cloth powder cold fine sand and the coarse sand so when you pour the muddy water through it the water get gets filtered through the cold level and here at the mouth cotton cloth is there so at the base we can see the clean and clear water but although the water appears to be clean there must be microorganism in it so while consuming the water we have to boil it properly so that the microorganisms which are present in it they will be killed immediately is that clear and what else we have learned today we have learned that whenever a large quantity of impurities they get mixed into the river water the process of the natural purification doesn't takes place and because of the impurity because of the impurity the oxygen dissolved in the water gets reduced and when oxygen level goes down that is very harmful to the living thing is that clear so moral of the story student we should avoid the water pollution at our personal level is that clear so whenever you will go out for picnic or hang out etc you will not throw any garbage or plastic bottle or any wrapper into the sea river or garbage uh, or well etc you will throw the uh, whatever waste material is there only into the dustbin so garbage we have to throw only into the dustbin you don't have to throw it here and there is that clear so i hope so that whatever we have learned today you must have understood so the next part of this session we will see in the next lecture bye bye take care